Initially, I always doubt brands I never worked with before. TMD is one of many though. So it isn't hard to produce cameras nowadays. Find a factory in China that has ever produced cams and pay them to repeat it. Okay, an obstacle is a software, client service and modern technologies implementation. And uh, this is where I was pleasantly surprised. TMD video surveillance kit consisting of an OnVR, bullet and dome type security cameras is our main dish today. My name is Daniel, People System Store, we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Those things that caught my attention are, well, a 10 channels network recorder that uh, I find a bit unusual because, you know, 10 instead of 8. And um, the same regarding all other video recorders from a Tiandi. 5 except 4, 20 except 16, and well, you got the idea, a geometric sequence. One more, two more, four more channels, okay. <laughs> and other thing is that we've got a PoE power and internet supply support over one alien cable, which is totally uncommon for light and budget stuff, and I, and, I, and I love this technology, even though it's elementary, so that's good. Regarding everything else, that's your basic video surveillance system, and not the appliance itself. Inside the VR's box, well, except the recorder, we've got a user manual, a warranty card, 240 to 12 volt power brick, and a power cable. Now here's the screws for fastening a hard drive inside of the recorder, and the mouse. All right, the NVR itself is made entirely from a thin aluminum. Due to this ring with branded on front side, you would never mistake it <laughs> with any other brand. That's a power, hard drive and network status indication. Now the rear part. Here we have the audio in, a reset button hidden deeper behind this hole, a VGA input for monitor, HDMI, two USB ports, RG45 jack for network cable and 12V DC power in. Cameras boxes fit inside of them, a warranty cards, net in stickers, packs with screws and anchors, and the RG45 waterproof caps. Now, the bag's contents, as you can see, is identical for both boxes and, well, now the cameras. So, plastic body is the first thing that catches my eye, telling us that the appliance for review comes from a budget model line. So, uh, the trick with plastic outdoor security devices is, well, to install them high enough so that a person could not ever reach it. Though plastic used as a main material doesn't mean you will have weather-related problems as well. The body is actually a solid piece of plastic with no cutouts and no any open joints, confirmed to be IP67 rate protected fully against intrusion and is dust tight and water resistant and water resistant to high pressure jets and will stand full immersion for up to 30 minutes at a depth up to 1 meter. The Tiandi Dome camera, though, is rated as IP66 as dust tight and protected against high pressure water jets with no immersion. And uh, what's interesting is that how they made it even more cheaper. So this top half is metal, but this part of ball is plastic with an incision between them. Now for bullet, we have a ball type adjustable joint that we can lose a bit and fix the required incline angle. From this basement comes a classic for network cameras RG45, LA in cable port and 12V power input. All that we've got on front panel is a 2.8mm 1080p camera lens able to record at 30 frames per second. And here's a footage taken on it so you can see the image quality with your own eyes. We've got a cutout with infrared LEDs behind the glass for night vision, which operational night view range, surprisingly, is 15 meters away from the camera. Now let's get back to a dome. So dome turret type camera has the same tail, body is made from two parts, a bracket and a ball camera, mostly plastic with a bit of metal here in front. 4mm 1080p camera lens able to record in 30 fps. And here's the footage taken on it as well.
and that round lens is an infrared edging with night view range parameter in 30 meters and a flashlight above it. The set of features for me starts from H.265 plus compression rate support that cuts a video file size in about two times lesser in compared to uh, 264 SCADIC. And our video recorder is a 10 channels. On every single one supports cameras with up to 5 megapixels resolution, sustains all modern video encoding formats, and is able to be paired up with third-party cameras due to the Unwave support and certification. Live view, storing, playback, this is a recorder. One SATA, one SATA interface inside to connect uh, here up to 10 terabytes hard drive storage, which is really nice, because budget recorders are commonly support twice less, around 5 terabytes always, no more. That's a big plus. And due to the Web6 technology implemented, Tiandi got rid of issues with the recorder setup on the web interface in internet browser, made it completely third-party browser plugins free. And thus, you can finally disable your Internet Explorer, usually used for the interface setup, as manufacturers don't really do this often. Thanks, Tiandi. Cameras are alright. As mentioned earlier, PoE for both of them, IP67 uh, rate for bullet and IP66 for dome. Both are 2 megapixel 1080p that record in 30 fps, but the bullet is 2.8 mm focal length and dome is a 4 mm. So consequently, 82.1 degrees field of view with bullet and 97.4 for dome. Infrared night view distance in 50 meters for bullet and 30 for dome. 11 languages supported, all modern formats, encodings and protocols are good too, so you won't have any troubles with making it communicate with any other appliance. So where all low-budget stuff suck is a service. A web interface, integrations, software features and modern protocol support, and uh, surprisingly, Tiandi made it pretty well. Now what's awesome is that after you plugged a network and power into recorder, you just go to IP address. Uh, we go specified on recorder's box, and boom, no software download, no need to use Internet Explorer or downloading plugins. You're on the recorder's web interface out from the box. The all the uh, nice things about plug and play, and from here you activate it: username, password, email for password recovery, and etc. You know how it happens. Now I've got it activated, so I just get in. There we go. And now we should be able to view two cameras that are added in the studio. Now here's the dome. Now let me just turn it upside down so you would see. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I can see it's live. And it's recording right now. And the same for a um let me do that. Oh, and the same for both camera. Now what I notice is that the delay. It's extremely low, extremely slow, so that's just great. Now, we are ready to move further. What I wanted to show you is that what we have, it's a 20-channel uh, recorder. We can do it like this. Also, this is a uh, uh, second stream, so we get a 1080p Full HD here, which is just great. We have a playback here, though we cannot view it right now because there is no hard drive installed, but you know how this is happening. Now we got here lock, and the configuration is the tab that you mostly need. All the basics here, the network time, users, and etc. Now the channel management is what we actually need. So we go in here, we uh, need to search, and here you can see all other devices. So this, this, and this actually are Dahua security cameras. And as you can see, they can't be added in here as so simple via the Unwev channels, because Dahua has Unwev channels uh, activated by default. And here, by number two and three inside of my network, we've got those two cameras that I just show you. And now we're going to delete them from here, just removing. And what you do, you simply check it after you activated cameras, press add, press add again. And wait just a few seconds. There we go. We can head back. And here we have the same exact picture. Back to configuration. 
audio video set, your uh, view settings, audio, image settings, OSD, network, uh, now the basics and the advanced one. Now what we actually curious about is a event schedule. So what you can do, a alarm inputs, a motion, you can draw red gens in here, there's a mask, you can put on video loss and well, other alarms though, it's not more interesting. VCA, standing for advanced rules that I cannot enable here, I didn't see them, like whatever. Storage and a system, that's actually it, but except that uh, you can actually easily add it to a phone so that it would look just like this. Uh, yeah, it's gonna appear right there so you would see what I'm having now on my screen. And like, there's device number one, there's device number two, so it's, it's that simple. Now let's sum this up. There are things that I mark as moderate, ordinary, regular, average, and these words are 100% applicable to TMD. But out, but out of that ordinary and average, they offer it in a really good shape with some details that are more common among higher level equipment. And like, I don't know, for a camera under $50, it's good. So if I would go for something that cheap and I, I like low budget entry level system, for now, I would pretty much take Tiandi which is available to get on the People System store with a discount now. And we also have other cameras, recorders, intercoms, alarm systems, and what else do we have? And a lot more. And if you indicate that you are our subscriber, we'll do a more interesting offer for you. So if you ever need help, you've got any questions and the descriptions of your task, they could be written under the video in the comment section below. And, and a single one will go unanswered. Thank you for watching.